I've got some new fabric to show you and they are a whole variety of different types and I'll be pairing them with some indie and commercial patterns. I think it'll be fun, so keep watching. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina. This is Lifting Pins and Needles, a channel all about sewing, limitless sewing. Welcome back and if you're new to the channel and like to sew, you will find a lot of sewing content here. So if you like the video while you watch it and think this is interesting, I'd like to see more, please subscribe, tap on the red thing on the screen and tap on the bell so you get notified when a new video goes live. Today I have a different type of format, <clears throat> usually my videos are all about sewing a garment. The focus of the channel has always been 99% on the sewing, on construction and every now and then I will have a fabric haul. I think while fabric is very important in what we do as seamstresses, um, just coming here and showing you the fabric has never really been my aim. Although I do have a few pieces I have purchased in the last couple of months. I have been very restrained in my purchases and um, I do have a few that I want to share. So to make this one a little bit different, I have paired each of these fabric types to commercial and indie patterns. And I'll just sort of tell you why I've chosen those styles. It might be helpful for you in your own sewing to get some inspiration. So the first one I have is a little bit out there. It's a poly chiffon and it's black and totally she, and it's got these like shiny things on it so when when you get sunlight on it like right now it's very like party-ish it sort of reminds me of lame although it's not that type of fabric and i know it's sort of trendy i really stay away from trends but i loved it the big four pattern i've chosen for this one is mccall 7093 i'm actually making a few of these tops right now i think this chiffon would be perfect for it and due to the shiny nature of it what I would do to tone it down is do the raglan sleeves with just a black chiffon and I think that would just tone the shininess down a little bit but otherwise it is one of the recommended fabrics in that pattern you just need to be a little bit more careful with the seams. McCall 7093 is designed with a loose fit in mind and that is really important for this type of fabric the seams of these can be really delicate so tight fitting styles don't really work that well with this type of fabric so I would stay with the sort of loose-ish more boxier styles with chiffon. Indie pattern I have chosen is from Style Arc and it's an ethyl top and it's really boxy and it's got simple design lines that you need for a sort of shiny fabric like this and although I would never make a boxy style like that in a more opaque fabric because of the boxiness I can wear a close fitting cami underneath because it's she you can sort of see the shape underneath although not right in your face you know so I really like that top I actually do have that pattern and I would totally make this fabric with that pattern the next one might not be to everyone's liking and actually it wasn't even to my liking I found this poly satin in a remnant bin and I have actually two cuts of a meter each so I have two meters and it's a leopard print but not the standard leopard print that is like beige and stuff um, it's got tones of blue and the tones of blue are what got me. I think anything I make for my top part uh, would look amazing with a blue denim skirt or just blue jeans, you know. The big four pattern I've chosen is Simplicity 8883 and it's just a bunch of tops. There are several views there, some with flounces and things that I'm not really into. <laughs> but there is one view there that is view D that is just like a regular tank top, but it has um, sort of princess seams coming from the shoulder. From what I can tell, it's not intended to be a close fit, but having those princess seams and shoulder seams make it a garment that has shape and I'm all for that. And just having really simple lines for this type of fabric, that's all you need. I don't have the pattern, I actually don't have any if, if any of the commercial patterns I'm gonna tell you I just looked them up and thought they were cool the indie pattern I would make with this and I do have this pattern is a Samora blouse from itch to stitch and it's a blouse that's super elegant it's got some pin tucks here really nice flowy sleeves it's got a bow here on the center and buttons and I would love to have that blouse with this fabric and I could just 
picture in my head with my denim pencil skirt and yeah I would love that look leopard satin print and actually the pattern does recommend satin as one of the ones they list there you know the next one I have to show is a bit more boring but just as nice and I was very excited to find it I can never find white denim and I would love to but this is as close as I can get to finding white denim now I'm not gonna hold it like it distorts the color of my face somehow this is a stretch cotton it was 56% cotton 41% polyester and 3% elastane and it has a little bit of stretch horizontally nice recovery I would say this doesn't have more than 10% stretch which is what is required for my like more structured projects and there is only one project I intend to make with this I really need to stay away from um, like hospital looking clothes when I make things for my top half that I like to put on I don't like want to look like a nurse or a doctor out on the street you know <laughs> I actually have several cuts of these they're like a meter each so plenty enough to make a white denim jacket I am obsessed with that and I really want to make a white denim jacket the commercial pattern I found for this fabric is Butterick 5616 and oh my gosh, I don't have this pattern of course, but I love what I see there. There's so many collar options, length options, and sleeveless options. I love that sleeveless option. I think it's amazing. And this being a really structured stretch woven, I think would be perfect for that style. Now I do have a pattern that is a denim jacket meant for stretch wovens, and I have already made one before, the Cindy jacket by Style Arc. I love how that fits. I know the construction now, I've already made it before. So it would be really easy for me to just whip up another Cindy jacket with this one and I love it. I mean, I just, I can just imagine having a white denim jacket and it being so useful for occasions because I'm pretty messy and I would probably get it stained pretty quick. <laughs> but yeah, that's what this is destined to be for, some type of denim jacket. This one is a chiffon with a very beautiful print it's got gray tones and coral tones and beige tones i think it's so nice ah i just love this so much and it's super drapey and gorgeous there is one salesman that sometimes helps me when i go to one specific local shop and i'd had a browse around i'd love this fabric and i went to get him to get him to go and cut it for me and he, when he saw me, he recognized me and he's like, hey, I've got one that arrived that I know that you're going to like. And guess what he took me to? To this one. So I guess people that sort of see me frequently are sort of knowing my style. <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, he guessed that this was for me and totally. The commercial pattern I've chosen for this fabric is Simplicity 8987. And it's a pattern with several top with some options on the back on the front some gathering on the sleeves some volume on the sleeves actually with a cuff and details and these styles are normally the ones I would never make for myself with other types of fabric so any styles that are more voluminous chiffons are the fabrics I will make them in to just change up my style and my wardrobe and just have something a little bit different so if you see on the liner, there is a back seam with buttons on the top. I would omit that for sewing it with chiffon. I would maybe alter the neckline and lower it a little bit, widen it so I could just pull it over my head. I would finish the neckline with bias binding that I would make with this one. Of course, I don't have it. Now the pattern I do have, and I actually bought the pattern for this fabric, is the Valentina dress from Style Arc. Now I have had great experiences with this brand of patterns. I think the block they use suits my body and I usually just sew a straight size so I have really good results and I think they are geared more towards an advanced seamstress because of the style of instructions they have. I think this style has been conceived to be made with a she fabric because even the diagram they have there you can see through the, the dress and it's got a slip pattern that put underneath so it's perfect and I think that's what I'll eventually end up making I just love this one a lot oh, it's so pretty I have this rayon twill it's more heavyweight I love it I have sewn with this same type of fabric before but in solid colors and I love how it sews how it press how it drapes how it looks when it's on it's just a beautiful fabric and this one has print I'm not sure the color of the background, it's sort of like a lighter burgundy, it's not red, it's not pink, but I like it. <laughs> All the colors on it are really nice, you know, 
I love it. What I would make from a commercial pattern is Simplicity 8885. I think would be perfect for this style, although I don't have much of it. It would have to be a shorter length, but that's no problem. <laughs> the indie pattern I have chosen for this is to make a really shorter version of the Samara pants from Itch to Stitch. I have made that pattern before. They're just the best, the widest leg pants ever because they're really nice and fitted at the waist and the hips and then they go out into a huge leg and I've made these in the long to the floor version sort of under the knee and for this one I would like to make a shorts that would look like a skirt sort of thing and I think this fabric would be perfect for it and I have an outfit in my head where I'm wearing this with my white denim jacket <laughs> This has white on it and I think it would look really nice to have something really light on the top and then this for a pop of color on the bottom. Anyway, those are just things I have in my head and outfits I would love to have and I have the raw materials here so I just better get cracking and start making them. <laughs> this is 100% rayon in navy background with flowers. Super nice, super drapey. I have about a meter and a half of this and I love it. It's a beautiful fabric. The indie pattern I would make with this, and I have the pattern, I have already made it before and I already love it, is the Allegro, well, the Allegro pants short and skirt pattern that Love Notions has. You know, within the pattern there's all those things, pants, shorts and skirts. And I made the maxi skirt version from that pattern and I hacked it to have a yoga waistband on the top and slits on the side it's super comfortable i've worn it a few times i feel really good in it because it's not a huge voluminous skirt and i think this would be perfect for it i've already made it in rayon so i know it works the indie pattern i've chosen is new looks 3646 and it's got very variations of skirts in sort of a line that require a flowy fabric they've got different lengths and if i had that pattern that is what i would make with this fabric although i would stabilize the area where the buttons go for sure i would do some like fusing interfacing all that business because this is not that structured to hold up the you know those buttons that area but i think fabric can always be manipulated and um, made more stable using interfacing uh, strategically <laughs> so i would still make that style with this fabric the next one I have to show you is a Ponte Roma and it's black and it's got butterflies all over it. So it's quite colorful, it's got blue. Any any print with blue, I see it from the corner of my eye and I'm like, I just go there. Same as with red, I see those colors and I'm drawn to them. So it's a very beautiful fabric. The butterflies, the blood of butterflies are directional. Oh, well. Okay, so the butterflies are all like looking that way. So that means that whatever I make, I have to be really careful with pattern placement. I have chosen Butterick 6169. I love that motor style jacket with the zipper. It's beautiful and it's described on the other part of the envelope. I, did, I don't have it. I looked online, by the way. <laughs> that is for wovens and knits with structure or stable knits and Ponte Roma is a stable knit. I would even like say it's like working with a woven in the way it behaves and the way it presses and sews and the amount of stretch it has is not much, at least this one, it's not much. So I would just consider this like a woven, although it probably has about 10% horizontal stretch. So that is the style I would use and I would just get a black zipper with metal, golden metal teeth to put on, the, on that part there. And now this is actually a project that will come to life and you will see it at the end of the month. I am doing a collaboration with Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. We've become really good friends and we chat really frequently about our sewing. <laughs> and we both like the cheap jacket pattern that came out from Seamwork. So it's a motor style jacket but very simplified and designed for neat fabric. And I love a motor style jacket. I have a pattern that's more complex. For woven fabrics in my stash and I would just like to try a neat one first and then go off to make like a more involved one and that is what this fabric will become it'll become that pattern and I'm really excited to make it and share the process of making it with Kim you know because we're like I'm up to this step you know how's it looking how's it fitting and it's really fun when you make a project in that way I really love collaborations for that it's really fun 
This is a linen fabric. It's beautiful. Look at the colors and the texture and it's so beautiful. I have about two yards of this. Uh, this fabric was sent to me from the States by my friend Carla. Um, Carla has sent me patterns in the past, commercial patterns. She sent me a little box full of them and some sewing supplies. And now she sent me some grommets. A while back, I'd been really sad about not being able to test <laughs> the Oya dress from each to stitch that had grommets here and a little tie feature. I wasn't able to participate because I didn't have the grommets, you know. And um, she sent me a little box of grommets. So be looking out for those projects with little things, little grommets and ties everywhere now because I'm really excited to try that and along with that she sent me this fabric and it's beautiful. The commercial pattern I've chosen is Simplicity 8959 I believe is correct. I have my notes there, yes. It's a pattern from Mimi G and it's got a vest and a skirt. I love that pattern. I actually have this pattern because Kim that I just mentioned sent it to me in the mail. So I have it. I would make the skirt version with the buttons with this fabric and I would line it, it would be like a more structured style. I think with the stripes placed in a certain way, it would look really cool. The indie pattern that I would make with this as well, and I do have the pattern, is the Indigo Maxi Skirt from Style Arc. I think I got this pattern a long time ago as a freebie, a monthly freebie. So every month they have two patterns to choose from that you can add to your cart for free after you've already purchased the pattern. And even on the, on the diagrams that they design, they have a fabric that is like stripey. Because that's a more casual style, I wouldn't line it. And I would just finish those curves on the hem with bias binding. I would try to squeak out of the same fabric. So those two styles, one more structured, one more formal, I think have great potential with this linen fabric. And I really want to make that sort of fast because I love this fabric so much. It's so pretty. I love all the colors on it and it just feels amazing. I moved a little bit forward because the sun was blasting my face. It's dawn by the way, it's very early and the sun's just coming out and I'm filming extra early to avoid the noise that other people around me make in the morning. Chambray, it's super nice. Um, it has a little bit of stretch to it, but just lightly, just no like huge amount of stretch. Let me show you. See, just a little bit, tiny amount. So I wouldn't actually consider this stitch woven. And it's got beautiful drape. It's got a slight sheen to it. And this is fabric that was sent to me by Minerva in exchange for a blog post. So I have this fabric and I need to make it. I looked at a lot of patterns to pair with this. Um, I thought, why not just choose a Vogue pattern? Of course I don't have it, but I love the style of the dress when I saw it. And it's Vogue 8970. And it's got raglan sleeves. I'm really liking woven raglan sleeves at the moment. I think it's a rare thing to find in woven patterns. Usually it's dropped shoulders or the traditional sleeve. So whenever I see a style with a raglan, I'm all for it because I think it's a nice design and I just like them. So I really like this one that has two neckline options. There's a collar there that I really like. And what I like the most is the way that the shaping is done at the waist with pin tucks, it seems to be. And they are sewn partially and then go off to a fuller skirt. I think the design lines would be really well uh, visible with this type of solid that doesn't have print on it. You know, any sort of stitching line or thing you would do would be visible. And I think this would show it off well. The indie pattern I would make with this fabric, and I do have this pattern, not like the Vogue one, <laughs> is the Matilda dress from Megan Nielsen. I purchased this pattern last year when they had a site-wide 30% off sale, I believe, which is when I usually purchase patterns. And I've been just waiting for the right fabric for that style of dress because it's a shirt dress with a lot of details. It's got a full-on collar stand with collar, button placket, you know, waistband, patch pockets. It's got a lot of features that I think would be really nicely shown with this type of fabric if I did the top stitching in a color that popped as well, or not a color, but not top stitching gray, you know? <laughs> I think the details of the dress would be shown really well with this chambray. And the fact that the fabric drapes would make that A-line skirt drape nicer, the way I like my skirts to drape with less volume. As you know, I don't have any of these or most of these. 
<laughs> commercial patterns but it was easy to look around and see what things are available and yeah if I lived in a place where they sold them I would be very tempted to get them all as well <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a comment. Tell me what pairings you don't agree with that you think I'm crazy. Tell me the ones you like the best or if you have suggestions for some of the fabrics I have shown for other patterns and other styles. Also let me know. I'd love to read them and I always reply. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with a sewing video. Bye!